This is the Cellubration.com review of the MWG Zinc 2, the newest device from the MWG uh, line of products. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the outside of the device before we get into the actual meat of the unit. Uh, looking at the front of the screen here, we can see that the unit itself actually features a 2.8 inch QVGA screen. Um, it is a flat panel touch screen, very flush with the device. And uh, you'll see why that's important in a minute. Below the screen here, we have the send key, and then we have our D-pad here. And your D-pad, obviously, up, down, you can go left and right and hit select, along with the N key there, which can also back you out of programs. Taking a look, and at the le a look at the left of the device, we can see that there is a volume up and a volume down. You can hear it's actually a pretty loud... Um, pretty loud speaker and I'll show you why why that is in a moment. Um, right below that we have this button that looks like a Windows uh, start button key but actually I'm going to go ahead and push it. You see it actually brings up here we have our Windows media player, our um, pictures and videos, our camera button and our games. Now if I slide my finger across here it works in the same way you can bring up our contacts and different program launch lists as the uh, HTC touch flow does. Here we have more of our contacts. Then if I just go from top to bottom there, get right out of it. I actually found that it works a little bit faster than touch flow technology, which tends to slow down the device uh, considerably when you're in that mode. So that was a nice little added bonus. Looking over at the left of the device again, below that uh, Zinc 2 quick launch menu, we have a micro SD HC card slot. It will support up to 8 gigabytes. And I actually like the fact that it's open. It makes it really easy to get the cards in and out. At first I was a little hesitant, but it's actually a nice feature. Then down here we have our reset pin and our micro USB, which can be used for charging and for data syncing. Up here we have our power on and off button as well as our standby button. And then finally below that we have our access to our 2 megapixel camera. Now I would have liked to see a little bit more megapixels. I'll show it to you here on the back. It's 2 megapixels with the self mirror for self portrait taking. However, one of the things that's missing on here is some type of flash. And then right here, the reason the speaker's so loud is a nice big speaker port on the back of the unit. So we're going to go ahead and flip this back over real quick. Now I'm going to slide the device open. You can see it comes into landscape mode very quickly there. Let me just get that out of the uh, locked mode that it is in. So looking at the keyboard here, we have our standard QWERTY keyboard. Um, over here we actually have an OK key so you can uh, select applications pretty quickly. One thing I really like is right now I have the caps locks function on. I can go ahead and remove that and the function in the cap locks keys actually will display right there. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about this keyboard is in order to get a period which you use a lot when web browsing or composing messages, you have to hit function and then E which can get really kind of annoying after a little while. You can also see that it's not a raised beveled type of keyboard, it's actually flat. It's a little weird to get used to at first, but after a couple days it's actually really easy to use. So I didn't really find it too much consideration in that. And then also here I have a create SMS key and your contact key as well. So the keyboard overall, it's not a bad design. There are a little bit of functionality issues um, with the period key and just with getting used to the unit. But once you get used to it, it's very responsive. If you hit a button, you can see it'll flip over very quickly, which is a, a nice feature on the unit. And then again, I'm going to flip back, and it's going to come back into our standard mode pretty quickly there. Uh, the unit does feature a Wi-Fi connection. I do have it connected right now to my Wi-Fi network. So, oops, if I go over here, and I've got like Google up, for instance, and you can go into, um, into Google here. I'll bring it up, and let's just say I type, I don't know, I'll type test, and then... You see, it's actually not too bad to type on the keyboard. Um, I did have a couple co fellow co-workers who told me they're having issues. So I hit test, and you can see, boom, pops up real quickly there. Um, test.com, and not so easy to do without the stylus. I click on it, and it goes right to the locating right away. So it's actually not a bad Wi-Fi connection. Um, another thing I really like about this unit is it actually does offer um, 3G access. Um, it is a quad-band GSM device, so it does have very fast connections on uh, singular AT&T. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> um, it does offer Bluetooth 2.0 with A2DP, which worked great with the Motorola S9 Bluetooth headset. Um, the wireless LAN, like I said, you have your quick launch to your flight uh, mode right there. And it does offer a Surf 3 GPS processor, which works great with Google Maps and uh, with TomTom software. I actually have a written review of the device up at uh, Celebration.com that you can check out as well. So those are some of the main features on the device. Uh, just to recap, 2 megapixel camera, Surf 3 processor. Um, you can get about 6 hours of talk time. I was noticing closer to about 4, but I also use the internet a lot, and I was using the, the uh, WLAN Wi-Fi connection quite a bit as well. Um, 
has a ton of support for music, your MP3, AAC, AAC+, everything that you come to expect. And it'll actually come with the battery, the stylus, the mini USB, the AC chargers uh, for worldwide connectivity. So you get the US, the UK, the EU, all of those, um, and the CDs included. So that's just a quick look. Um, it is selling right now at expanses-usa.com. Again, that's expanses-usa.com for $749.95. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to visit celebration.com and um, take a look at our written review and write your own thoughts on it as well. Thank you.